Hey YouTube, it's your boy Kendrick here again, aka the Optometry Prodigy. And guys, welcome back. It's Friday, 12 p.m. And of course, guys, our new video. You guys, we are focusing on the I Know or the I Knowledge series. Once again, this is the second video on this series. And today, guys, we'll be doing dealing with eye health history. What should patients be aware of? What should practitioners be aware of in this area? And guys, once again, this knowledge is for everyone. And we're dealing with eye health history. Before we get into the video, guys, I'd just like to remind you guys to support me on the channel. Share the information. Family members, friends. Guys, this information is for everyone. Share it with them. Um, the Facebook page, you can go over there. Hit it a like. The Instagram page, follow me there as well. The links are in the description of the video. So guys, let's jump right into it. Eye knowledge series. And guys, um, what should we know in terms of our eye health history? When we go to the optometrist, um, what um, what should we look out for? What should we be aware of in terms of relaying our information to them? And guys, one of the things the optometrist will look out for especially is when you had your last eye exam. So be aware of this. When last you had an eye exam done? Was it never? Was it a year ago? Two years ago? Six months ago? And even with that, guys, we need to remember um, where it was done. And also, you need to remember the outcome of that visit. What was the outcome of the visit in terms of did you um, need a prescription um, for glasses? Um, did they tell, tell you you had dry eyes? Did they tell you you had cataract, glaucoma, etc.? You need to be aware of the outcomes of these visits. And another thing is good to take note of is um, wearing spectacles. Um, we look out for if you wear spectacles all the time. Possibly some people just need it for near, you know, and how long. Did you have that spectacles in particular? Um, was it two years now you have it? A year ago you got it? Those kind of things. Um, how well do you see with the spectacles is another big um, thing that we would look out for. Do you see good at distance? Do you see good at near? Or possibly now you have another problem with the glasses. Maybe you only see good at near or distance is bad now. It's good to be aware of those things. Also sunglasses is another big area um, that we look out for. Do you wear sunglasses? Do the um, possibly the glare affects you so on and use sunglasses for that uv protection and another thing guys contact lenses do you use contact lenses what brand do you use um how often do you use them and even that period of time um how how often do you replace those um contact lenses certain contact lenses you might just use it for the day throw them away or um two weekly monthly etc it's good to be aware of that as well another thing is how long do you wait for the day and out of that period, how long is it comfortable? How many, how many hours during that day is it comfortable? Um, do you get comfortable way out of it? And guys, another major, major key in terms of the contact lenses. What solution do you use with them? Did we know the daily. You may not need to use any solution for that. Well, you do not need to use any solutions for that. But for the others, what solutions do you need to um, use with those to clean it and to disinfect it, etc.? All right another area guys that you need to know about your eye health history is um have you ever been diagnosed with anything any cataract glaucoma um diabetic retinopathy dry eyes even um simple being short-sighted long-sighted having astigmatism it's good to be aware of all of these things as well and lastly we would like to look at the areas of um we'd like you to know or be aware of the areas of trauma any eye injuries possibly when you were smaller a blow to the eye or possibly an accident anything that um, caused any trauma or injury to the eyes perhaps and how long ago did it happen um, and was there any treatment required for it some people may have to take drops or some uh, medical tab um, some tablets or so and you need to be aware of this I mean, um, a lot of the injuries I've heard about is the pencil, of course, and the pens, some injury to the eye with that as well. Um, students, of course. And another um, aspect of this we would, would like you to remember as well is the surgeries. Any surgeries have um, you have done, perhaps cataract surgery, um, laser surgery for diabetic retinopathy, or any vitrectomies, um, any, anything in that area, you might need to remember that as well. Uh, guys, the last... Um, the last thing that I would also like to mention, you need to remember also any infections to the eyes, pink eye, um, bacterial infection, fungal infections, anything in that area, you need to remember it. And guys, of course, how long ago it was, did you use any treatment for it? 
those things are key as well and guys i hope you would take note of these things in this eye knowledge video here again guys you can look at the one before we dealt with more on symptoms this week we dealt with eye health history so remember these things it's good to know for yourself and it will make the exam even easier when you go to the um eye care practitioner as well so guys be aware of these things grasp your eye knowledge i'll see you guys next time take care and be safe i'm out peace